Well, hello and welcome to this episode of the Monday Minute. I have had enough. On June 10th, 2011, NARAL sent an email to their constituents, and this email urged them to stop the war on women. Well, frankly, I think you and I will agree that they are the ones waging war on women, not us. Well, in their new tactic, they are copycatting the steps of the famous IM71 campaign, where thousands upon thousands of pro-lifers posted a photo of themselves holding a sign saying IM71, representing uh, being one of the 71% of America who are against abortion. Now, a little background about the 71% is that back in about 2008-2009, a Zogby poll showed that 71% of Americans opposed taxpayer-funded abortions. Over two-thirds of America being against abortion funding by you and I, the taxpayers, and yet NARAL is pushing to attack us that we're having a war on women, so they call their campaign Stop the War on Women. Well, while thousands participated in the IM71 reports, did you know that not only the videos were placed on Operation Rescue site, every member of Congress was contacted with a link to that movie? Well, what are NARAL doing today? They are saying to their email list, more than 45,000 of you signed our petition to Majority Leader Harry Reid asking him to hold strong against these attacks and 373 of our supporters posted their face on this video. Now here's <laughs> Nayrow's lies. Anti-choice senators are preparing to move the war on women forward. Their bills could uh, spur the Internal Revenue Service to audit rape survivors who seek abortion care, deny life-saving abortion care to women, and effectively end private insurance of abortion services. <laughs> Life-saving abortion? What an oxymoron. What deception. When they focus on that 1% of medical emergencies that might truly be something about saving a life, the fact is they're attacking those who are against all abortions. Well, the fact is that no abortion is life-saving. Every abortion destroys life. Now, here's their action plan. They're saying send an email using their form, of course, to their U.S. senators and so they can attach a movie link to tell them to see this movie, the Stop the War on Women and how it impacts everybody. And they strongly encourage you to customize your message so it doesn't look like the same people sending a form. Of course, here's their link if you want to actually see what I'm talking about. Well, you can help because you see if only 373 will show their face on the NARAL video, what if 2,400 centers each took a photo of a volunteer and a staff member? And if the average number of volunteers is 8 to 12, that would mean almost 19,000 to 28,000 thousand would be photographed. Now you can help. What I'd like for you to do is as the voice of the life saving community within a month I contend that if several thousand of you could shoot your video and send that photo and upload it to us. Take your photo and send it to me and then we will add it to what we call Stop the War on Life campaign on Flickr. That's right. If you'll go over to Flickr and join the group Stop the War on Life, send us your photo to Ken Freeman speaking at gmail.com and I would love to have you join us as we stop the war. It's up to you and me. Now, thanks for listening to my little statement here on NARAL. Share it with everyone you know and keep up the good work you're doing. You are making a difference and the other side just can't stand it.